Welcome to Open TCD, a game about moving things and making heaps of money. My name is Spinal Socks, and we're going to be starting a company in the new and ever expanding country of America. Believe me, fellas, the trains are going to be big, and the profits are going to be even bigger. So, without further ado, let us begin. Ooh, we could do alcohol. Enable drunk driving in 1850. Oh boy. Oh. When, does when does prohibition start? Year one, and we've installed various different mods to make it the Victorian era. The looming prospect of industrialization is starting to hit the world. At the forefront of that, moving things around. I'm of course joined by my friends Eric and Zach who will be contributing to the company that destroys entire mountains and constructs messes of buildings for our own evil agenda. To represent this however we need to create a company name that will propel the future of humanity into the atomic age. Uh, what do we call our company? We can also build our HQ. Where should we build our Predator, HQ? Like I say, Predator and Multinational. Anyways, let's get down to the bread and butter. We've got trains, we've got trams, and we've got buses. We've also got boats. All methods of moving large amounts of freight and money across large distances. But we have a limited amount of money in the beginning, being £100,000. Mm. We start quite sensibly with a few shitty bus services in the north of the country. Alright, here we go. 32 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Holy shit. But that wouldn't do. We needed to move on to bigger things. It's gonna be like a crippled horse for the rest of the playthrough. Crippled horse? <laughs> That's literally what it is. Scrawny nag. And after the bullying of a horse and Eric begging for the boat budget. What well, should be the budget for boats like the first one? So, boats are the easiest way to move things around. Oh yeah, because there's, there's something called the sea. Anyway, so let's get started on encouraging large amounts of alcohol production. The orchard, orchard and piggery goes to a cider mill. Don't slip on that word. Keep in mind, neither of my friends Eric and Zach had ever played this game. So, they were having a hard time grasping basic things. Hey, what, what, who blew up my depot? Hey, did you just blow up... right here, what are you talking about? He just downward blew up my depot. Hey, you can't be blowing up my depot. Zach, shut the f*** up! Zach, being the absolute galaxy <laughs> brain he is, decided he was going to start crying for five minutes straight, saying that his horse would just not work. Come on, speed up. Whip the horses. <laughs> it's taking him like... Half a month uh, to go from a deep a bus well, depot to a bus station. To this day, he never got his horse working. Because of the delay in any infrastructure being set up, we were starting to lose quite the amount of money. So we had to rush more and deploy more horses to set up some semblance of a money-making machine. What are you doing it for? Money. Money. All right. Yeah, but what, what's the purpose of the boat? We also set up other types of infrastructure, including fishing, to make the bare minimum so we wouldn't collapse into absolute financial. Financial catastrophe. We also thought about sending a voyage to discover the mythical lands of uh, w Western Europe, as our company, <laughs> Predator Multinational, hadn't known about it until recently. This land called <laughs> supposedly had rich reserves of coal and iron. Looking out, look, zooming out, mm. that is gonna take a long time. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> we, well, we've got a few videos to do. EU4 e if it was good. <laughs> If it was good. We were still losing money though, and it was seriously looking like we were going to collapse at the sight of any turbulence in profit. Instead of relying on something cheap and easy, like horses and carts, we gambled on a truly novel idea, yeah. using copious amounts of money that we didn't have. We're losing money at 5,000. We are we are losing money at 5,000, but we have... Ooh, steamships. Ooh, steamships are now available. At 38k, I feel like, uh, uh, based on our current financial situation, and that really... Well, uh, we could make... We, what's the biggest city on planet Earth? I'm probably uh, Beijing or Shanghai. Or, it's not that time yet. It's Kolkata in India. After that rather splendid idea, we also had to construct various different railways at the expense of the people that were already there. But if internet celebrity Bo Cone One can say it with such vigor, then I can too. The Indian removal. What? Eric also wanted to expand towards the Great White North, colonizing places like Edmonton and Saskatoon. No, what are you doing? Oh, I ran into a fucking house. Uh, I was wondering why I didn't go that far. I'm just kind of retarded. <laughs> I didn't see it. What? Is that your cr- Uh, uh... <laughs> We're, we're running low on money. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many loans we can take out, bro. Dear God. Oh my God. We only have 80,000 left. Trams are also being set up in places like Richmond and Norfolk, with us expanding transport services to facilitate the growth of the town, thus making us even more money. We're slowly getting up there as well, sort of. Uh, the flattening of the entire Appalachian region probably didn't uh, help our military standing, but that's beside the point. I'm going to vomit. 
we also found another nifty uh, way of making loads and loads of money by shoveling luxury goods like alcohol and clothing and shipping it to hotels, then funneling people staying in other hotels to other hotels directly by rail transport. Very nice. Also, our trains were still slow, but hey, at least we were still making money. Coincidentally, after Zach left. Curious. I don't even know what happened to him. I think his mother called him down for alphabet spaghetti. We were up to uh, 600 grand and rising very, very quickly. We're already up to 600 grand. What? I'm not even joking. Like, we, we were on the cusp of, like, doing big money plays. The year now was about 1860, so I thought it was the time to start building some more out-of-pocket ideas. I mean, it is the year 1860, so out-of-pocket means, like, paying workers. Truly an alien concept. The out-of-pocket idea in question, actually, was shoveling up sand from the middle of the ocean, then shipping it by boat to a glassworks, where they could smelt the sand and create glass, then ship it off as a good to the cities. And whilst I was setting up the inland canal system, Eric was doing pull-up bars to the point where I could hear him groaning in the background when he pulled a muscle. Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Look at that fleet, the Armada. Oh my god! Do you see? Do you see coming out of Tijuana? Yeah! Oh my it's god! Like a holy shit, it's like it's, an invasion. It's like an armada. Also, we started encouraging vast amounts of public drunkenness. It benefits us because we transport the alcohol to transport the funny liquid everywhere across the United States. By around 1875, we had uh, started to form a very big unicity in the northeast of the US, which which meant even more money. Also, I decided that I wanted steel in the USA to create even more goods and make even more money. Unfortunately, there was no steel in the entirety of the new world, so I decided to get it somewhere else. I decided that America needed a few colonies after all. Uh, I mean, it is 1875 and it was that time of the century. And well, it was only right. So we landed in Morocco and Mauritania in the middle of Mali with a bunch of other iron mines from as far away as the Sudan and as far south as Ouagadougou. Immense. Then we ship iron over to the furnace in around the mid center of Mali, with produced goods being put on barges set for the USA itself. By this point, we were truly set. Our company was only ever going to get more profitable, and well, just like every other rich person, all I wanted was more money. So, let's get started on that. Tip top tally ho, there's a railway from Victoria in British North America to the Oregon Territory now. Ah, splendid. Some more cash for the bank. That will give us the money to colonize another third world country. Flattening the entirety of the Midwest? Don't mention it. Tramways in Albany? More investment there means more money, which means more tramways, which means more money. I love taking advantage of a simplified economic structures and games, building suburbia the size of small European countries. Yes, by God, yes. All right, God, that, that's enough of that. Actually, I'm gonna start doing something in Los Angeles, just because just I wanna try something. That's a good start to anything. LA is a complete shithole. Dallas now hates us for some reason. What? Oh my God, Dallas, bro. Dallas hates us, so uh, we're gonna take our goods and leave. We're not, we're not, we're not serving Dallas. But anyways, what you've been seeing is merely a facade. Let's look into the true inner workings of Predator Multinational. First off, we deprived a big city in the United States, Dallas, from having any goods because we had such a monopoly over all of their transportation. Nice. The East Coast is just one big mega city now. <laughs> it's literally like... Zach, our lovely friend, joined us again, with him being surprised by the amount of progress that had occurred in the last few hours. And what's that thing called in TNO? Like, <laughs> that thing with, like... Alantropa. Really, like, Alantropa. Yeah, yeah Alan Alantropa. In, like, Alantropa. Alantropa looking. Yeah, let's fill it in. Alright, well, I guess what do you want me to do then? Just make some more... <laughs> I don't... lines? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I... Uh, yeah. Alantropa. We're on two mil. Yeah, I think we can afford a few more horse lines. I mean, that money is rapidly dropping. This always happens, especially in Factorio as well. Mm. So, all right, good session, guys. Uh, join us tomorrow. I come back on tomorrow. Like mm. free civilization looking. This Coruscant from Star Wars, the big city planet. Doesn't that canonically have like a, tr a population of one trillion? I think it's just like Cyberpunk Night City everywhere on the planet. Yeah. Just. Oh, incredibly what? vertical as well. My new project is make an even bigger mega city because what are these grids? Are these grids for like houses? Yeah, I, I set them city up. Sky, if a little bro thinking in city skylines. Yeah, those grids are for, for houses. Like it just helps them build. Should I make some more grids then? Yeah, just build some more oh. transport infrastructure. Really, just passenger lines between cities and. Stuff. Now, much like Elon Musk, I am truly a great thinker with the mind the size of 
I don't know, the average American. So being me, I decided that a wonderful piece of beneficial infrastructure would be having a singular, shitty slow train with lots of carts going across a rickety wooden train. Now, this is already an amazing idea, so why not make it even better? What about a singular, shitty slow train with lots of carts going across a rickety wooden bridge across the entire Atlantic Ocean? I decided to start building with the treacherous Eric saying that I was going to fail miserably and that we wouldn't have enough money. So I decided to, I was going to do it anyway, with the promise that it would at least be profitable. So without further ado, let's get into building no, it. No, but like a bridge across the, the Atlantic. <laughs> <laughs> even, going, even worse, Alan Troper now. <laughs> My mom goes, Bob. You gotta see this meme! <laughs> you gotta see this meme! I'm keeping this in the video. Funny Maymay. Funny Maymay. <laughs> Funny really May -may. Did you just say Maymay? A bridge? What do you mean Are all you the way here? Are making a bridge to the US? Yeah, I'm built making a bridge all the way to the US. That's Atlantic shit is retarded as fuck. It's it is not. It yeah, is yes, not. Um, you you don't understand. understand. No, it's not! No, it's not! Yes, you. Yes, it is. No, it's not. The I'm train gonna, across it is going to be amazing. I'm going to destroy it. No. Let's say hypothetically, Let's I build say. a bridge across the Yo, Atlantic. Guys. Is it not that reasonable to assume it would bankrupt the company? Yeah, the train going to Paris. For fuck's sake, I want to speak. <laughs> the train going to Paris is uh is uh above Toronto <laughs> right now. <laughs> the fuck? There's just a there's just a town in Burkina Faso called Man. Uh, Every time I type, it's just. Actually, give me an idea. No. Yes. No. Yes, Is that transatlantic train gonna start Lord. moving? It's. It is. It is moving. Oh, this must take a very long time, I guess. It's, Where is uh, it? It's above Part Halifax, off. Nova Part Scotia. Off. Oh, it runs so slowly across the wooden bridges. How many? How many passengers are waiting at Paris? A big fat whopping no one. With the failure of the transatlantic bridge, it marks a turning point for the history of the company. Until next time, goodbye.